Chapter four explores paintings. It is the one art form that gives you all of the information up front. In a story, movie, or a piece of music, the content and the details are revealed within time. In painting, you have all of the information that the artist has provided, and you have it all at once. From that point, you are analyzing many facets of each work. You want to ask yourself these questions when you are being a critic of painting. What is the media? In other words, what holds the color onto the canvas or wall? For those of us that cook, we know that egg yolk is a binder. It holds together the ingredients when we bake a cake or a pastry. Old paintings used egg yolk to bind the pigment to canvas or wood, and it was called tempura. In a fresco, the color is mixed into the material of the wall. The best example of this is Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel. One of the most important and vivid types of media is oil painting. Also, we have watercolors. That's beautifully translucent colors, and it's a fast-drying medium that became very popular with Impressionists. A more modern material is acrylic, and acrylics are synthetic. They don't darken or yellow with age. As we are exploring different elements that combine to make outstanding works of art, take note of different kinds of paintings, different types of paintings. They're abstract, representational, impressionist. They all reflect the artist and the time period in which they were created. Here are some famous paintings with which every educated person should be familiar. Boom, 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 boom.